Hi hey everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. I've just got some journal flip throughs, so I'm going to be recording quite a few um, journal flip throughs today, so I'm going to try and bunch them together, similar types of journals into the videos. Um, so just here I've got, um, so my business name is Megan Sullivan Art, and my website, my Etsy shop, and my Facebook and my email address are all easy to remember, because they all include Megan Sullivan Art, as long as you remember my name is spelt with a double E. So I'm really a Megan, not a Megan. Anyway, so let's get on to some journal flips for you. I'm just gonna turn that over. I I might even move it. And let's go. So this is, so a lot of these journals that I'm flipping you through today are fluid art paintings that I have done. When I learnt fluid art, I was a little bit obsessed to say the least. And I had so many canvases that I made that I had to invent a way to use them in some other way, to repurpose them. So when I discovered journal making, um, I thought why not see if I could turn these into uh, something different. So I lined them with fabrics um, and turned them into books. And then I discovered coffee dyeing and eco dyeing. And so this is what we've created. So this particular journal, I have decided to call Bright Spark. Um, it's got 72 pages with one signature. Um, it's 15 centimetres by 22 centimetres and it's obviously a soft cover with my fluid art painting and a really nice bright fabric um, lining the inside. Um, so I designed this book purely for writing. So there are some tuck spots and different things in here, but it is a blank journal ready for writing. The floral cluster on the front here, um, I bought a few of these from Bonnie Wood, who is Bonnie and Clyde on Etsy. So I will link you um, her details below. So we've got coffee and eco dyed paper in here, some painted papers and some craft paper. And that's it, so let's get in. So I love sewing, so I've actually rediscovered sewing, so I sew just about all the pages in the book. This is a painted paper that I've done on um, lunch wrap. Um, turn it into a tuck spot there, a little side tuck under there. This kind of wonky stitching I got from um, Gypsy Rose Papery. She uses a lot of that on her journals. Some fabric um, bits there. This is another piece of painted paper. It's like your lunch bag type paper. Coffee dyed, eco dyed. So all plants from Alice Springs, Central Australia where I live little fabric ruffle. I chose to use pink stitching on this one. So this is a vellum envelope that I got from wish.com and there's just two sheets of note paper in there. Um, there's also a tuck spot behind the envelope. So this is a piece of um, oh, excuse me, coffee dyed paper ready for writing on whatever you choose to do with that. Under the page, more stitching. You'll notice I love the star stitch. So more eco dyeing. That's the bottom of my oven tray. Fabric ruffles. Love the patterning on that. Always reminds me of a cardiac printout, that stitch. So I try to keep with all the pinks and pastel colours bit of rust from my oven tray. You can really see the gun leaf patterns in that paper. It's really cool. More stars. Zigzag. Eco dyeing. Other side of that painty paper. Fabric ruffle. This was just, I scrunched it all up when I dyed it and I didn't iron my papers. I do now. Um, so the other side of that pocket, and in here I've got my business card, a bit of ribbon, and that's the end of that one. So it's got a bit of a burlap and lace trim which is all sewn down. So that's that first journal. Next up we have this one I've called Pretty in Pink. So again another fluid art cover with a fabric lining. It is 64 pages with one signature. Um, with wax linen. Um, it's 15.5 by 22.5 centimetres. That's quite a lot of interesting 
um, cellular detail in this and these have all been sealed as well prior to being turned into books so it's a soft cover it's got a magnetic closure it's not a very strong magnetic closure but the magnets are embedded in this burlap and in the actual part of the the um, page front cover there um, it's got a really pretty floral um, detailed fabric with some purple stitching on that one and again the fabric cluster has come from Bonnie and Clyde um, Bonnie Wood on, on um, Etsy so I'll link to that again uh, another writing journal it's got coffee and eco dyed paper craft paper painted papers um, another vellum envelope and in here I've put scraps of eco dyed and coffee dyed paper that um, I thought you could use for embellishing or making tabs or whatever the owner wanted to do piece of eco dyed paper with a fabric embellishment and you can really see that leaf imprint there so it'd be pretty cool to receive it with some plants from a different country a uh, bit of lace a little bit of lace on that one there uh, a bit of a burlap piece there some more lace this is really pretty this has come from an item of clothing i love the sparkle and the pink through there um, a painted paper pocket with another a4 piece of coffee dyed paper now this is um, bottle brush which is a, um, a plant native to australia it's come up really really beautifully Uh, a bit of ribbon down there. Love that fabric ruffle there. A piece of that painted paper, which is just a, a, a page. Uh, this is a stick on piece with some rose cutouts there. Crazy stitching. Thank you to Gypsy Rose for inventing or oh, showing me that. This is the centre of the signature. You can see the lines of my <laughs> cake drying racks on that, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, more fabric. I was lucky to get a whole heap of this fabric off cuts from um, a quilter here in Alice Springs who was leaving town. So I've got a, pretty much a lifetime supply, a supply of off cuts and scraps of hers, which I'm very lucky for. So some note paper in there and a little envelope with my business card. Love that, that came out really nicely. Again, the bottle brush. Um, this is a big envelope, which has got some different pieces of um, coffee dyed and eco dyed off cuts in there for writing or ripping up and doing whatever you like with. Little little mini doily, which you could use as a tuck, but it's a bit of a loose uh, a loose tuck, but it could still be used. Love this, nice and bright against that craft paper. And that is the end. So you've just got some stitching here that I've used to hold the fabric down um, onto the cover, nice and neatly. So that's the front and the back. So that one is pretty in pinks. Next up, this beauty is a bit of a bigger journal than the last two. So this one has 128 pages, again with a fluid art cover. So I've actually chosen to call this one um, Satellite because it really does remind me, it just has that reminiscence of a satellite image basically. And it does remind me a lot of the Simpson Desert in Central Australia um, in flood where you get all the flood waters in between the um, beautiful orange dunes. Um, and I've got a nice satin ribbon for the spine and a beaded dangle which has got some um, feature coloured beads, some nice sparkly ones, a wooden bead and that's just on wax linen tied on and um, we've got a feature brooch here which has also been sewn onto the front cover which I bought second hand, it's just so pretty and I thought suited this really well. Again a, it's got two signatures and it's a fabric lined fluid art painting. So going inside this is a beautiful wildflowers of Central Australia um, fabric that I bought locally and this is that bottle brush that I dyed with um, in the other journal. It might be some in this one too. So it's my eco dyed and colour dyed papers in this one. There's no embellishments or tuck spots um, on this one at all. So it's just purely a, an unembellished writing journal um, and I think it'll be really gorgeous to use for writing. And being that there's a lot of blank pages you could actually 
you could use it as a glue book you could use it as a scrapbook put your be beautiful photos and things in here so we'll just do a quick flip through of this one for you so eco dyed so these pages were dyed on the colored ones using um, uh, some vellum um, using food color whereas now I dye my papers with Rick fabric dye so this is a um, eco dyed page there. More eco dyeing. So these eco dyed ones are actually on quite a thicker um, card, almost cardstock. And this is the coloured ones are like a printer paper kind of thickness. Sturdy enough. Eco dye. Nice. Beautiful um, how the leaves imprinted and some of the nuts I think they wear off the leaves. I'll show you that one up close if I can. So gorgeous. Very happy. That was my first attempt at eco dyeing. And I like the different sizes of paper, the different feels, the different thicknesses. So I'm a bit clumsy. Ah! More bottle brush, which is what I showed you on the cover. So that's this plant here and those little nuts there. Just some gum leaves. Gorgeous. A lot of these plants I actually got from my older boys' school. Um, I got permission to go around and trim some, <laughs> trim some trees and do some um, imprinting from them. Nice gum leaf there. Rust. Gorgeous. That's the bottle brush. So that was eco dyed as well, so you can see the yellow through there. This was the Sturt Desert Pea, um, which is the black part of those plants. And that is that that one so there's no closure on that one but it actually stays fairly flat so that one is called satellite and we have one more to go in this series this one I've called a blaze quite obviously because of the cover and the gold and the beautiful rusty red kind of reminds me of you know a fire in the process or something on fire I did a series of these fluid art paintings and they were absolutely wild. Um, so this one has one signature, um, 76 pages. It's 16 by 21.5 centimetres. It's got an indigenous um, fabric lining and with a magnetic closure, which is embedded under here, which is a ribbon and off cut um, there and some eco dyed paper and painting there. So it's embedded in both of those sections. So it's got a fairly decent magnetic closure. So this is the beautiful indigenous um, fabric. That's the front inside and the back inside. It just matches it all beautifully. So I've gone for more neutral colors here with the oranges and the earthy tones. So there's a lot of eco and coffee dyeing in here, craft paper, painted papers. Um, yeah, lots of sewing again and fabric pieces. So a vellum envelope with some coffee dyed scraps and another one of my business cards which are sections of my fluid art paintings. Behind is a tuck spot with some eco dyed paper. And a quick flip through of this one. Similar pages, uh, papers to what have been in the others, but I just like theming the sewing colors to, um, you know, the colors of the journal. So again, a writing journal, a belly band with some scraps and fabric there sit there nicely. Card. This is a piece of painted paper again with, now that has actually come apart so I will um, fix that probably with some clear sticky tape I think because that stitch really does perforate the paper. I have learnt now that I'm more experienced. So this is another piece of that kind of deli wrap which I've painted and was all scrunched up. Some scraps of eco dyed. A pocket here with the little booklet so this is that lunch wrap 
um, but I've made into a journal, little journal with some writing, you know, different types of paper offcuts in there. Lots of stitching all the way through. Um, and to do this stitching on the canvas and the papers, I use a denim needle, much more tougher. And depending on the size of the journal, sometimes I go through one needle per journal if there's been a lot of hard things to sew through. Bit of a tuck there, which wraps around the other side of the page. And I love the combination of the papers and the fabric. Um, some scraps, still good journal size, or you could use them as embellishments. Gorgeous, lovely. I don't know how that black came, but I could probably never recreate it again. <laughs> Painty papers, fabric. This is a little notepad, a few little extra copy dyed pages there. Thumbly fingers, that's again from the drying racks. Fancy zigzag there. Craft painty paper. Gorgeous. Love the orange against those dark papers. A tuck here. Could be a tuck here, but it's just a, a lighter piece of paper. But you could still tuck into that spot. Eco dyed, craft, and the end. So that journal is called A Blaze, and they will be up on Etsy um, in the next couple of days. So again, a close up on that one with the feature orange stitching. Just gorgeous. Okay, thank you. See you later. Don't forget. Megan Sullivan Art, um, just getting my shop new to Etsy, getting things loaded up on there and on my YouTube channel. So, and I've got lots of all sorts of different things on YouTube and I'm just Megan Sullivan Art on YouTube as well. Um, so very easy to find and remember. Thanks guys. See you next time.